Spirit family and welcome back. For those who are new, this is Spiritual Findings with the Gypsy Soul. I am your Gypsy, Vera Lynn, and today we're going to be doing a general reading for my Capricorns for July 2019. Now when I say general reading, guys, this is going to cover your love, your career, your soul story, what's going on for July. Alright guys, I hope you like my setup here. I am actually off-grid on top of a mountain. There's no electricity, no running water besides a mountain stream, no cell phone service. It is wonderful out here. I am a fellow earth sign. I am a Virgo and I just connect so much with mother nature while I'm up here. I actually have my shoes off. I'm grounding. I have my feet on some nice lush moss here. I really hope that you guys have the opportunity to do the same, you know, during the nice weather, okay, that we do have during the season. Okay, my Capricorns? All right. So for July, we have a lot that's going on, okay guys? We have some solar eclipses, and lunar eclipses, we have a retrograde, okay? I'm gonna briefly go over that. If you have any questions about what I'm going to go over, comment below and I will go more in depth about it, okay? On the second, we have a solar eclipse in Cancer. Okay, so having a solar eclipse, this is going to bring more attention to your family life. Okay, perhaps your, your kids, your relatives, your parents. I know for some of us within the States, it's around 4th of July. Maybe there's a family barbecue you're going to get invited to. Get yourself out of your shell and go see your family. You know, it's kind of nice to reconnect sometimes. I know that's not, you know, the case for all of us, but maybe something to kind of just get you out there, get a little bit more social. Okay. On the 16th is when we have our lunar eclipse and it is actually in your sign. So you guys might feel a lot of maybe some inner, I don't want to say anxiety or turmoil, but you're definitely going to be looking at your, your responsibilities and your priorities differently during this time, okay? Because lunar eclipses are our inner beliefs, is our emotions, okay? And having it in your sign, as you know, that you guys are ruled by Saturn and you guys are very disciplined, okay? Very structured, you know your rule set, your priorities, things like that. So it just, it's not only going to change in you, it's going to change in everybody around you so there might just be things changing during that time okay a couple days prior to the lunar eclipse on july 7th okay we have mercury is turning retrograde in leo okay these retrogrades i always feel mercury is very fast moving the retrogrades are kind of you know they happen a lot but they're very short take this time to really relax the retrograde is over mercury turns direct on July 31st, same day, there is a new moon in Leo. And guys, that's not even all of it. But I'm going to stop there because I want to dive a little bit more into the tarot side of it. With me being out in nature, if I see an animal spirit make its presence, I will say something. I know I've had a mouse earlier make a presence, uh, woodpeckers, crows. Um, I have had several butterflies, things like that make its presence. Um, snails in the one video. So I will make it something known. I love using Mother Nature's divination tools, okay? I love reading tarot. It is very satisfying to see the pictures and to interpret them. But also, there's other things to kind of use, you know, to kind of get the messages from the other side or from above okay guys all right so let's pull from the original rider weight here okay i wanted to mention that it is spiritual findings with the gypsy souls one year anniversary and if you guys um before i pull from the angels um from the fairies i'll get a little more in depth with it but i do have a healer's box that is i'm giving away to any one of my subscribers who shares subscribes ring the notification bell more importantly make sure you don't forget to get on that list by commenting the name that you want me to put on a piece of paper on july 31st i will be pulling a name from a hat unfortunately because there is so much in this healing basket i can only do it to my u.s subscribers but there's a salt lamp your very own um regional rider weight tarot deck there's gemstones there's sage incense tapestry i mean there is just so much in this healer's box i did a few giveaways last year and it really connected me to my subscribers so i figured for 
our one year anniversary here which i am so shocked and so excited to see how far this channel has grown in just a year it's amazing guys so if you want to go ahead and check out more details i'll be talking a little bit more about that later i'll be posting a picture of the healing box at the end of the video because it is so large i didn't want to bring it up here on the mountain but like i said july 31st 9 p.m eastern time i'll be doing a live reading and you know if you're not if you're busy that day i do a lot of live streams and you can get yourself a free reading i do free readings um just pure free reading sessions live streams uh it is first come first serve so it is very important to ring that notification bell so you can get on the list but it's very fun i love the spirit family here it's very educational you know i love seeing where you guys are from and what's going on you know it's it's a lot of fun and i want to shout out to any of my capricorns who are already part of the family you know we all know that we have such a good time on the live streams i've been getting back into them more recently i know you guys have missed me for a while but i had to do some some healing myself heal the healer <laughs> All right, my Capricorns. We have a card that fell out here. Ooh. We have strength. Very interesting because we do have a new moon in Leo. Okay, and we do have some things that are going on with Leo that month regarding planets and signs. Um, for some of you guys, the strength card, it does um, resemble Leo's. If it's not a Leo coming into your life, whether you're single and you're looking to date, um, you know, Capricorn Leos, I do feel like would actually be a very good partner, especially for this summer. Um, it's resembling willpower, will strength in yourself, Capricorn, that you can move on. You know, maybe these solar eclipses or, you know, these, these eclipses might hit you pretty hard. But just remember that you have that strength, you have that willpower to move on. Okay, guys? Ooh. Yeah, the lover's card that popped out. So there could be a Gemini coming into your life. Maybe you could be rekindling with a loved one if you're single. Definitely going out and finding, you know, at least a summer fling to keep you company. Um, on the other side of things, if you're not looking for anybody or anything, coming together for a group with like-minded people, maybe in a spiritual manner, okay, you guys? As you can see, this is a very beautiful card. You know, they have things in common. The terrain is very nice. Maybe it's a spiritual community that you're going to get into, you know, your local holistic community. Um, it could be festivals. It could be, you know, your local church, something, okay, for people who are not necessarily seeing it as like, oh, I'm meeting a Gemini or you know i'm finding a loved one or i'm rekindling you know me and my spouse are gonna you know get hot and heavy this summer it might just be meeting somebody who has the same mindset as you meeting a friend it doesn't just have to be romantic okay finding a like-minded business partner all right all right my capricorns so we have a leo and a gemini which is the Lovers and the Strength card. So let's see, I'm kind of excited to see what our next card is gonna be like. Ooh, we have the Nine of Cups, Capricorn. We're definitely gonna be figuring things out this, this July and just feeling comfortable and confident with ourselves, enjoying our surroundings and what we do have. Look at that. Yeah, you are just sitting comfortable. You have a smile on your face. You got all the cups around you. You're balancing. For some of you guys, you're balancing your emotions better. You're happy with your love life. You're confident with where you are in your home, your health. This is a really good card to have at your end of your reading. I've been having a, a majority positive, very positive readings for all my other zodiac signs for July. So there will be a lot of stuff going on, you know, regarding the eclipses and everything like that. There's going to be some unity, you know, some reevaluating your responsibilities and your priorities. But Capricorn overall, you got it going on. So let's live it. Let's take some time. Like I said, make sure you get some earthing in this summer take take those shoes off let mother nature heal you uh, this is this is not just stuff that i'm talking about it's real there's some science behind it guys look it up grounding earthing okay you're my fellow earth sign you got to know the importance behind this all right i am feeling a little bit of stress with you guys honing in you know 
your feelings and your energy and it is you need to shake it off you need to you know dip your toes in the sand whatever it is you know go fishing I don't care what it is but you need to relax a little bit for July okay in order to make this happen all right we need to relax okay all right guys so like I said for that healers box I'll show the picture after this reading I'm gonna pull from the fairies right now but all you have to do is subscribe if you already are subscribed that's fine too but subscribe share ring that notification bell um, and comment below that you've done so okay I can see when you guys shared I don't care if it's to what app Instagram whatever I only have a Facebook so I can only promote this page so much so I need you guys to help all right I need my family <laughs> all right so I wanted one, but I got two. All right. All right, my Capricorn. So first we have goodbye to the old, hello to the new. You finished one part of your life and now a new and even better part is beginning. Look at that. Look how beautiful that card is in the sunlight here. I love it. So yes, what no longer serves you, Capricorn? Kindly say, you know, thank you for your service or thank you for aiding me and just let it go. You know, it could be like clutter in your house, old clothes, you know. You know, before you throw out that clo clothes, you know, say thank you for all the times that, you know, you've aided me in weather protection or looking good, but you no longer serve me, you know, donate it or whatever it might be. You know, it could be a lot of different things that you need to do that with. It could be your spouse or your boyfriend. No, <laughs> but yeah, whatever doesn't serve you anymore, move on. Okay. There's a lot of things that want to come into your life, but they're just waiting for you because you haven't cleared out the negative or what no longer serves you. Okay. What you've grown out of. Say goodbye. Say goodbye, Capricorn. All right. And you have autumn. In the fall season, everything comes together and you recap a wonderful harvest, harvests of abundance. So I feel like it's you're kind of putting in the work now or you're putting in the patience now to see the reward later which will be more towards fall for some of you more towards winter for others of you okay but just to let you know that the seasons approaching will be giving you more insight on what's going on okay all right look how beautiful that card is reminds me of peter pan and tinkerbell doesn't it oh i love it all right guys so that sums up your reading for july 2019 i would love to have you guys a part of the family so you know subscribe hit that notification bell and join us on a live stream tell me where you're from and you know if i'm doing free readings i would love to do one for you guys okay and if you would like that healer's box got to go to somebody within the states all right so <laughs> go ahead and follow the rules and get your name on the raffle if you guys don't end up getting you know the healer's box I'm, i'll be doing free readings up until i pull the name okay all right guys thanks for tuning in this is spiritual findings with the gypsy soul i am your gypsy Vera lynn you guys have a beautiful july